in one of Kenya's Institute for Higher Learning, students are preparing for their exams. Among them is Charles and Kawira. Personally, for me, I'm an innovator and I'm a very fast learner. So whatever we taught in class, we did, indeed it's the books. But street smart, street smart wise, we told to be very open-minded. My career aspirations are to be a global marketer. Secondly, is to be a talent manager. Thirdly, is to be a community developer, which I'm still doing right now currently. So it's a continuous process of being a community developer. I'm looking to go into politics, economics and diplomacy. That's, that's where I've got so far. So those are my goals at the moment. And uh, definitely on a platform for Africa. According to Kenya's Ministry of Education, there are seven public universities, 23 private universities and several polytechnics involved in impacting technical skills and help develop a strong human resource base in the country. Amid this investment in education, there is a growing concern among employers that graduates do not meet the skill set required at the workplace. What we need really is a person who can think logically. Our students are not taught how to think. Mind you, I myself, before I actually met a teacher at Strathmore, I, I didn't know the, the fundamentals of logic. I, I think I could probably think logically. I could, you know, because of geometry and all the rest of it, okay, that, you know, this is something where you're taught how to think. But the actual art of thinking itself is never taught to youngsters. Yes, unfortunately, most of the graduates coming out of our learning institutions, out of our universities, the vocational and technical training centers, are not always fit uh, for purpose, if I may put it that way. Employers have to incur more money, training them on actual skills on the job, uh, getting them uh, to a situation where they have practical experience uh, that is required for them to perform. And this again is a reflection of the fact that we do not have good engagement between industry and uh, the learning institutions to expose our young people to practical aspects of work. So largely what they go through is theoretical training. What you're really looking for is grinders. I, de I define people in three. You have finders, you have minders, you have grinders. Okay, Grinders are people who sit on the desk and get it done. That's what we want. The role of tertiary education is to provide skills necessary for employment or entrepreneurship. However, according to the African Development Bank, unemployment is still one of the greatest challenges facing Kenyans today. Begs the question, what can be done differently? I think sometimes there are mismatches and what we have typically done with all of our programming is to go out and talk with employers to find out with our business programs exactly what is it that employers are looking for. And while employers are looking for students to have a specific skill set. For example, if you're an accountant, they want you to be able to do accounting. But there are also other softer skills that employers are looking for. And when we talk to them, they typically say they want people who can problem solve, who are innovative, creative thinkers, who have integrity, ethics. Uh, they can come into an environment and be able to catch information very quickly. It is a challenging um, scenario, but we try at USIU to get as many views as possible before we start any program. Uh, we basically take some uh, needs analysis surveys that involve A, the employers, B, our alumni, uh, C, our outgoing students who have not you know, graduated but who are just in their senior year, and four, we also go even to high schools and secondary schools to find what it is that they want to do when they finish school. And usually we get very interesting results. It is out of these results that we then come and craft a program that we believe meets the aspirations and the needs of the employer. To bridge this mismatch, training institutions have put measures in place to ensure that there is a seamless student transition from academia to the corporate world. Nonetheless, more steps need to be undertaken to meet the demand for labor skills in the country. When we look at our undergraduate programs, we try to make sure that they do have good communication skills because employers want that, that they can readily communicate both orally and through um, written language, and also that they have good strong IT skills. All of those are real important when you go into the workplace, regardless of what 
discipline area you're in. The learning institutions also need to provide good supervision and to incorporate your performance during your attachment into your final score. Students know that this is not going to count in my final score in some cases. In a low degree, for instance, it matters, and of course medicine and others. So if it's not going to be considered in your final score, then you will not take it as seriously as you should. So there's a lot of room for, for improvement to ensure that we balance the practical and the theoretical. We in business need to give opportunities and engage with schools, colleges, polytechnics, to give internships, meaningful internships, as uh, to these students so that they're able to get a feel of what it means to be in business. Kenya is investing in research so as to have a globally competitive education system for sustainable development by the year 2030. I guess what we, ha we have to get out of is complaining all the time and step up and do something about it. And I think it's around internships. Germany has a brilliant model. China, I think, I believe now, in Asia, the Asian countries have very good models of how they bring young people in as interns. Eventually they go back to school and they say, they test the models they had, the mental models they had about life in a, in a real working career and then they're able to come, when they graduate, they're able to graduate properly. After graduation, we hope we have given um, the students skills, A, to be able to fit in the job market, but B, in case they are not able to find jobs, they should have skills to be able uh, to have entrepreneurship skills, to have their own jobs, to create jobs, to create employment, so that others then can be able to join in. But other than that, we hope that the knowledge they have gained here is lifelong education, education that can give you ability to survive in the ever-changing technological world. With a large number of global companies setting up office in Kenya, there is a strong need for talent. Ensuring that this talent meets industry requirements is an opportunity that needs to be exploited. For Ion Kenya, I am Laban Cliff on Serio.